Hello and welcome to another sketchbook video. I finished this quite some time ago in November last year, but I didn't have any time yet to film it. I've started it in Bali on my honeymoon. Well, this was just some leaves swimming in the pool. This was the site from our hotel room and on this page I just tried out all kinds of stuff. Well, and this one is the last one from Bali. I didn't have much time to paint or draw well, since I was there with my husband and we spent a lot of time uh, driving over the island. This was back at home again, somewhere in the woods. <laughs> well, and here I've got my pendle brush pen. I have tried it out how it work, works with um, watercolors. It works quite well. Some people have some issues, but um, well, at least on this paper it seems okay. Um, it's a Fabriano watercolor sketchbook, by the way. <laughs> so, if you are wondering, okay, to this one out of the window from our flat this time. Yeah, here I tried out the Cutman colors for the first time. I I don't know, I didn't like them much. So I gave them away to someone who liked them more. And this one was inspired by um, Yoshi's Island, the designs and the backgrounds. I really love this game. I've got this new one for the DS. But I'm not true with it because I don't have much time well, here. For some reason the colors of the cutments did get muddy on this paper. I didn't have much problems with cotton paper, but well, this one isn't cotton or at least not 100 percent. Um, uh, no. Well, this one was the Van Gogh colors. I like them better. Oh, missed the page. And those were with the Cutman colors. Van Gogh colors. <laughs> and some ships. I used the Cutman colors a lot, but like I said, I, um, I didn't like them. Oh, and here I tried out some gouache. Uh, I'm not really good with gouache. Well, and these are the colors I've used for my cheap art supply challenge I did quite some while ago. I've bought them, them in the German store Lidl um, when I was 16 or so. Well, and here's a little swatch where I compared colors. Uh, ultramarines. Well, this was the no name um, sheep art supply challenge ultramarine, and well, the Schminke one doesn't granulate as much, but the Michello one, the ultramarine deep, granulates a lot. I use them for different purposes, so it's nice to have non-granulating and granulating colors. So. And here I compared some colors. I've bought these ones new at this time, I think. Um, oh, and this one's nice. Here I used the granulating uh, ultramarine with a brown. I don't know which one. I think uh, maybe burnt sienna or burnt umber. It gives this nice effect. If you want it, it's okay. But if you don't want it and you let your piece dry and um, it isn't grey, but um, all granulated, it's a bit... Well, I was a bit surprised at first as I uh, tried out a different brand than Schminke because they never granulated like this. And I expected the colors to dry um, grey, <laughs> but you 
you always learn. Okay, these are the sheep watercolors. I experimented with them a lot. I like this one. But I had to um, throw them away since, um, well, I squeezed them from the tubes into some pans and I tried and I couldn't reactivate them again. Mistake. <laughs> I think those were the last ones I uh, painted with the cheap ones. And here I have used uh, my Schminke Horada, which are the professional watercolors from Schminke. They were a lot easier to paint with. I, well, it was such a good feeling using them again after such a long time with those cheap ones. Okay, let's look at this. And here, oh, I think I couldn't sleep. And I've emptied my permanent cream from the Academy colors from Schminke. Oh, and a mirror. Uh, pink. I think I've used the Van Gogh colors. Van Gogh? Van Gogh? Okay. <laughs> In German we say Van Gogh, but most um, English speaking people say Van Gogh, I think. Well, oh, and here I've got the Holbein Artist watercolors. <laughs> and here's another swatch where I compared uh, Burnt Siennas from Holbein, um, Schminke, and Van Gogh. And just for fun, Crenacridone Deep Gold from Daniel Smith. And here I compared the transparency of two colors, Peacock Blue from uh, Holbein and the uh, Fungo uh, Cerulean Blue. Um, yeah. And here again. Oh, and this is my grandma's cat. His name is Baloo. He's a cute guy. And here I've tried out some Daniel Smith colors I bought myself, the Crenacridone Gold, um, the Sodalite Genuine, and uh, I don't know what else. I think that's it. I also got a duochrome blue, but I think I didn't try it out in this drawing. Oh, and the uh, crystal gems. <laughs> and peridot. Yeah. This is a building they built nearby. Um, I drew it from our balcony. We we moved so um, before we had all green outside the window. Now we've got all grey outside of the window. But we are going to move back. We are no towns people and well. um, I made some color design for Chichi. I drew her for a cover of a. Short comics, I'm not sure when or if I will finish it. It's, I don't know, maybe three or four pages, not much. And here I've got my Crema pigments, watercolors. I made a review of them, if you want to watch it. And here I had. Um, I bought myself different gouache. My first one were acrylic gouache and I didn't know there were two kinds of gouache. And um, I was a bit surprised as I couldn't reactivate the um, acrylic ones to I found out um, there were um, the acrylics and um, uh, how are the others called? Um, designer squash or temper? I'm not quite sure. So and here two still lives, a plant I owe and uh, my watch. And I have used the reference for this one. Um, my husband and I uh, took a walk in the woods and <laughs> I took a picture of these mushrooms. They looked so nice. Well, and that's it. That's my sketchbook. 
I like the paper and I bought myself a second one, same size. It's perfect for sketching well, and um, I hope you liked it. Until next time, goodbye.